Hi folks, Bustle Girl here at the wonderful Saboten Con here in Phoenix. And I have with me a very talented artist. She's actually one of a pair. But we only have her today, which is, ain't bad, but your mirror image will be missing out as well. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Give us your name and give us your website, how we can find you. Oh. Uh, my name is Susie Omblade, and then my sister Roxy Omblade is out today. Um, she'll be coming back later. Um, you can find me on Facebook at Susie's Whimsical Art or on Twitter and Tumblr at Susie's Art. Really simple. So what style of art would you say is your favorite style to draw, paint, sculpt? What's your favorite medium? Watercolor. <laughs> that was, you answered that very quickly, so I'm guessing you feel very passionate about that. Tell us a little bit about why you think watercolor is so special. Um, well, I used to hate watercolor back in high school and the beginning of college, but then I went to Italy and I took a class there about watercolor. So um, it, was, it was a great experience. Like I just learned a lot about it and I just fell in love with it after that. There, there was a phrase that one of your teachers told you about when you're painting watercolor and, and putting color on the canvas, say yeah. the... What, what is that? Yeah, there's a, two different rules that you have to follow. It's um, save the whites and let the water do the work. And what does that mean, let the water do the work? Um, it's, you don't want to put too much color. Like if, you, if you keep messing with it, it's going to start looking bad. So if you let the water, if you put the pigment in the water, or maybe two different pigments, it's going to look good. I mean, it's going to do its own thing. It's going to surprise you. You sound like you know a great deal about this medium. Would you like to point out some of your favorite pieces? Yeah. I squeak. Uh, pieces? Well, this, is, yes. this is just a prince off of one of my watercolors that I've done. Um, Really simple, like I had a whole wash of the green, and then I went in with the different blues. Um, and then actually I based this castle off of one that was in uh, Vienna, Austria. It's called Berg Krugenstein, and uh, I think it's about 40 minutes outside of Vienna. I'm very interested to know the story behind the animals in the balloon and how they got there. <laughs> They're on an adventure. <laughs> um, the whole idea started with a few different pictures I did back um, doing steampunk. Um, I just like the idea of drawing people in a basket, you know, going up in a balloon, but um, having animals I thought would be a little more cute and sellable, I guess. But it's, I just love dogs, I love cats, I love birds and all those things. So them putting them in a basket and like have them go on their own adventure would be fun. So I love it, it's wonderful. And I see you've got some anime and manga here. Is there one here you're particularly fond of? Uh, well, I just finished watching the anime free, so oh, I had to do yes. something like that. Um, uh, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah. N nice. Bishi boys with no shirts on. I, I, can, I can understand the appeal. And then this is my sister's. She just finished this yesterday, and then she sent me the scan this morning oh, and fun. went and printed it. Nice. Kamina. Nice. I really thank you for sharing your art with us. I think it's beautiful. I am actually, a I have to confess, I am a really big fan of both the En Blades artwork. They are incredibly talented. Please check them out online. Now, can you give us, can you give us how to find you online? One more time. Um, Susie's Art on Tumblr and Twitter, and then Susie's Whimsical Art on Facebook. All right. You heard it here. You've got to check it out. Go support your local artists, support your independent artists. And here we are at Sabaton Con. This is Bustle Girl for Video Josu. See you guys later.